Okay, hello everyone, Nelson Edu here, and today I have not a Minecraft video for you, almost said that. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to install my mod pack. Um, so this is going to be, this is a page which you will find in the description of every single mod that is currently on my YouTube mod pack. I um, spent a long time today making this list, and um, so yeah, I'm going to give it all out to you guys. Um, every single one of these has the name of the mod, it has a link to the, oh, that's a bad example. Is that one broken? Oh, you know what, these two are switched, aren't they? Okay, I'll get that fixed right after this video. Huh, that was funny that I randomly picked up the one that's broken. Um, well, in the case of most of these, you can click on info and it'll take you to the thread or website of that mod and then you can click on download and it'll take you right to either a direct download or an add file link um, depending on how the mod developer decide to host their files um, so yeah I'm going to quickly go over how to install all of these mods, put them all together and then download my config files and drop them in there and you guys can play um, the exact same mods that I'm playing, and um, <coughs> uh, in the future, I don't want to promise anything, um, but in the future, I would really much like to, um, I I would very much like to play with you guys, and um, if I get enough people, I would either do, one, it would be a public server for any of my viewers to just come on, we could all play together, um, I'd probably live stream it, you know, make videos, and it would just be my YouTube channel server. Um, or two, it'll be sort of a private server for me and people that I trust, which will be invite only. Now you might be thinking, oh, well, um, you'd want me to have a public server because, you know, that way you all can play with me. But the downside with that is when you have a public server, you're pretty much guaranteed regardless of how selective of an audience you talk about it to, you're guaranteed to get griefers. And some of these mods that I have here can potentially be very destructive, um, especially, um, definitely not the least of which would be ICBM, um, <laughs> Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. That website, I don't know why it does that. Ignore that. Um, it does it every time for me, I'm not sure why. But, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> this would probably be a very bad idea to just have a public server with this installed where someone could, while they would have to do some amount of work to get these, they could potentially ha make a red matter explosive, which, if you guys have seen footage of this, is very, 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 very destructive. So, you can imagine why I wouldn't want that. <laughs> actually, I don't know if these are actually craftable, but there's a bunch of other stuff that is very, 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 very dangerous to have for a public server. So, the problem with having a public server, obviously, is I would have to actively administrate it. I'd probably have to have friends or trusted players as staff. Uh, it, it would just be a whole nother, whole nother thing with log block, and I'd have to disable a lot of these mods, and um, it, it'd just be a whole nother thing, and you guys probably don't want that. I don't really want that. So, I am thinking more, leaning more towards the invite-only domain which by no means means that you as a viewer can't get in on it simply you know send a request to me proving that you'd be a good addition to it and I mean so long as you prove to be trustful I can tell you right now if you play on um, on my server which is minecrafteveryday.com that's our website um, if you play here and I know you you're pretty much guaranteed to get on the list if this were ever to happen so, um, <laughs> shameless server advertising, I'm not going to lie, but you know what? That's a very fun server, and I would definitely recommend you guys checking it out anyways. But, yeah, we have a live map. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. So, <laughs> wow, that actually is a pretty bad distraction. Um, anyways, so I am just going to, first off, what you're going to want to do for each of these, keep in mind this will be a Windows tutorial. So, um, if you are on a Mac, um, if someone wants to provide a Mac tutorials video response, I would 10,000 internets to you and I would be eternally gracious. Um, so, by all means, if you have a Mac 
and aren't completely done with the computers, by please, and you have a recording software, you should definitely, um, you should definitely, uh, you know, help me out with that and post a, a Mac install. Um, but basically with each of these, super simple that I have it set up for you. Um, you can just control click or use a middle mouse button and just download, 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 and so on and so forth. Going down the list, some of these are direct downloads and we'll just put up right into your files. A lot of these are AdFly. It shouldn't be too much to ask that you just wait five seconds, you know, and just click on it and there you go. So very, very simple stuff. Um, so you want to go through all these and click download for each and every one. Um, the only exception that I found is um, for whatever reason, um, Mistcraft <laughs> it apparently is blocked in Canada, at least with the experience that I've just had with a friend. So, um, however, I, I can't be guaranteed that it might work for you, it might not. If that doesn't work, then feel free to use this provided this mirror that I provide for you guys. But please, I don't want a lot of traffic flow going to this link. So try this download first, and if it doesn't work, if binary mage at all, this website does not load for you, then you can use this link. Um, so yeah, that's it. So I'm going to pause recording and download all these files, and I'll be back when I have them. Okay, and we are back. So um, now we have got every single, so you should just go down the list, download, 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 download. Gotten Magic Launcher, these three, those two, all of these. Um, these two are optional, back tools, just puts a tool on your back, it looks pretty cool, it's just aesthetic, you don't have to do it. Um, inventory tweaks, got that. Um, the NEI plugins, um, and then finally the config files. Um, and yeah, so got all that. So now we're going to go to our file folder holding all this, and we're going to run the Magic Launcher installer. Um, or it's not an installer, it's just a portable file. So um, I already have some, you'll just see default um, as well as your username and password. Um, so we're going to go into setup, and what I recommend you do, um, by the way, you should have the latest um, Minecraft 1.4. 4.2 um, unmodified clean jar um, if you don't know whether or not you have that um, it's it's as simple as just if you want to you could just go here and then force an update um, I can't do that because I have it set weird but um, here what you could do I think push is a force update button Hold on one second Yeah, okay. So if you went into let me just if you went into your normal Minecraft launcher, just the vanilla one, and went to options, you can click force update and so that'll get you to the latest update, which will be one point four point two, um at least as of right now. Um and yeah, Minecraft.jar. Um the way you just do that is just go to select and if it doesn't already come here, then um the directory would just be um, well it should have it by default but it would be your username app data roaming and then dot minecraft and then bin and then select your minecraft dot jar and that'll be good so um, do that uh, disable that um, and then go to new and for the configuration you can type whatever you want um, I'm gonna do YouTube tutorial and then just copy it from default. So now for this, you're just going to want to go to add, and I'm just going to go to, this is when I did it my first time, um, just going to go to my downloads folder, my Minecraft mods folder, which is where I put up all the stuff. And now, this is like probably the trickiest part, which isn't saying much. Select everything that's control and then A, or you can just, you know, click the first one, hold down shift and click the last one. And then select everything except for this. So listen to this part. You don't want to select the config folder. Not enough items. Any I wherever that's at. Uh, let's see. Any I. Or um, code chicken core. 
Let me just look at that and make sure that is correct. And I think we are good to go. Okay, yeah, so just everything except for these three. Config, co-chicken core, and not enough items. And then just click open. It's going to be a little bit of lag. So now you're going to want to select, uh, find the one that says Minecraft Forge. And ignore all these errors. And then just select it, and then keep on clicking up. And just up, 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 up. Spam that up key. And it's going to be a tiny bit laggy. This program, program is a bit weird. And it tends to lag a bit. So just a couple more. Okay. And now once it's at the top, everything should be mostly fine. Um, you might see, like, if it's yellow, you're fine. I mean, it, generally speaking, it, it gives off a lot of false, like, errors. And usually it's fine anyways. So, um... You should be good with that, um, and what you want to do for right now, just this is just temporary, disable the four NEIs, the NEI plugins, um, and you're going to want to click, you can go to view log, I'm just doing that for testing purposes, I like to look at it, um, here we'll clear the log, and we're going to go to test, and it's going to run Minecraft. And here you can view the Minecraft console. Um, so you can see it's just loading all this. So you might get a couple errors. So long as it's going, it's fine. Actually, you know what? I didn't copy the config. So this isn't going to work the first time. Don't freak out. It, it is going to not work, though, this this very first time. It, the main reason why I run it now, even though it's not going to work, is simply so that it'll generate the files that we need. And holy crap, it worked. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? It's using my config files. That's why. So it won't work for you. It almost surely won't work for you. It'll it'll give you some error saying that two item two mods are trying to use the same item ID. Don't worry about it. Just exit out of Minecraft. Um just don't freak out, okay? You can close the test the view log if you opened it. Um and now we're just going to go to Okay, I'm assuming you're on a Windows machine if you're watching this far in. So press Windows key and R and that'll open up this run. Um or alternatively you can go to your start menu you can't actually see the left side of my screen right now but you would go to start and if you're on windows 7 where it says search programs and files you can just type in run and that'll open up the same thing so anyways you're going to want to type in percent app data percent and that'll be fine what are you doing um, and then press enter and that'll open up this folder your roaming folder and then just open up dot minecraft and you'll see um mine is a bit of extra stuff that you don't that you wouldn't see yourself but um you're just gonna look for the config folder and just open that now in this folder full of all the stuff that you downloaded you're gonna want to double click config dot zip and it'll open up this i'm assuming you're gonna want to open it with winrar or winzip or 7zip anything really just anything that can open up a zip folder um, you can research WinRAR. It should be a thing pretty much everyone has on their computer. Um, just get that if you don't already have it. And you want to copy this config folder, and you can go back to .minecraft. And you're just going to want to drag and drop, and say yes, yes, yes. I mean, it, it won't give you that so this many errors, but just say yes, yes to everything. Copy and replace, um, and that'll load my config files for you. Now you're going to want to go back to this .minecraft folder and go to the core mods folder and you see I already have it here but you're going to want to drag co chicken core and not enough items they're both jars you're just going to want to drag and drop um, I'll just replace it um, and so that that is in your core mods folder and you should be good to go um, you can turn these on now and press I'm going to turn, get the log, um, and just press test, and um, keep in mind, my computer is relatively fast, so you're, <laughs> I mean, and it takes me like 25, 30 seconds to start up on my first run through, it it's faster now. The first time you open up Minecraft, it'll be the longest, and that's going to take the longest time, but even still, it's going to take a little while, so just be patient. Um, and everything should be fine. Just 
give I mean honestly it might take two minutes just let it run okay um, you're gonna open up single player and just to test it you're gonna want to create a new world saying test and that's gonna take a little while to generate the terrain just like any world would take a while um, you can watch the console if you're bored um, although it doesn't show much right now um, and once you're in the final test is to press E or I, whatever you have set to open up inventory, and just look at your inventory. Maybe press O, that'll toggle any I. And just in general, make sure everything's working. Make break a couple blocks if you're bored, you know. Um, everything should be working fine. And if you've gotten this far, then you have successfully installed this mod pack. Congratulations, you're finished. Um, so you can stop watching this video now if you have it working. If you do not have it working and you're still watching and hoping for what do I do now um, feel free to go to um, you know, I'm just gonna exit out of this um, you can go to my YouTube channel right here where it says my um, so and so send me a message um, somewhere around here yeah, I don't know um, here we'll use uh, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, hmm. Basically, here, I'm just gonna pick a random YouTube channel <laughs> to use that as an example, but, um, here, we'll, we'll message Call of Duty. Um, so just go to my YouTube channel, and you should see somewhere around here. There's a thing to message people. It's been so long since I've messaged someone. Um, I think you can actually go to your channel and go to your inbox and make a message that way, compose, and just send it right to whoever want. Um, type in Oblivion Modder 13579, subject, air message, mod pack, and just paste right in the, I had the magic launcher link, um, paste your air that, um, this log, if it crashes, it'll give you like this long air. Feel free to just paste it right in, and I will do my best to help you out. Um, so yeah, um, that's basically it. Um, not much else to see. If you've gotten this far, then congratulations. You're good to go. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I look forward to maybe playing with some of you guys with this mod pack. So. Till later. See you guys.